What's good? Wagwan, Wagwan. <laughs> hey people, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? And welcome to another episode of the Pastry Beer Podcast. I'm your host, Winston Murdoch. And I am your co-host, Talicia Baker. Oh man, Talisa, you sounding excited today. Yes, I have energy. Finally, today. you hate day. Why you have so much energy today? You ate some food or something? No, because I'm alive. And I'm happy. Oh, yeah. You're boring. That's what you is. <laughs> <laughs> you are so boring. So what's going on? How is everything? Everything is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty mm-hmm. good. You know, I got a question to ask you. Somebody asked me today. What's that? Do you know how to make oxtail? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah? I'm a Jamaican. Okay. So the reason why I'm saying that, because I realize that whenever I have conversation with people, the first thing they ask me when they hear my uh when i tell them i'm jamaican because sometimes they don't they don't pick it up and mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't understand why because my um my american accent is not that perfect oh but um the first thing they always ask me oh can you make oxtail <laughs> and i'm like okay you know jamaicans don't only eat oxtail, oxtail right you know what i mean so it's it's just it's just it's just really interesting to, to think that every time somebody meets you that's the first thing they want to know you're jamaican okay do you know how to make oxtail and the funniest thing is that in Jamaica, um, not to say oxtail is a very popular. Yeah, and it's very expensive. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, Jamaican people, it, it depends. Like, yeah, so oxtail on, is really eaten on special occasions. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, occasions. so probably two, three, three times a year, Christmas, you find a regular New family Year's. eating oxtail. <laughs> so, so it's it's really funny when people say, "Oh." Uh, do you know how to make oxtails as if mm-hmm. you know as if we only eat oxtails but Crazy. sometimes when they ask me that i tell them yeah i know how to make i always tell them oh i make the best oxtail which i do mm. i make the, i think i make the best oxtail in the world what about you i think i make pretty good oxtail uh, i can say you you don't even sound confident about your Listen. oxtail so so what you put in your oxtail because when i'm making my some people some people when they're making their oxtail mm-hmm. they are uh, put it in the oven so they they marinate it no yeah i've seen that before they marinate the oxtails and they they uh put it in the oven and let it cook i saw i saw a chef that did that one time but you know typically my mom taught me you how know, to make braise it. it yeah it's like yeah braise it, right? but my mom it's taught right. me um when she uh she just seasoned it lightly and then mm-hmm. put it in a pressure cooker and braise it and, and cook it in the pressure cooker you know what i mean and then after you cook it in the pressure cooker mm-hmm. for like an hour or whatever time you pull it out and then you put your onions and your carrots and whatever and, and, then, you see, more. and then you finish cooking it and yeah. now you're gonna add the flavor and then mm-hmm. when it's almost done you put your baked beans not your baked beans uh broad beans the, br- the butter beans they call them what butter no, beans broad beans butter it's the same beans. thing no butter beans are are different they are okay. smaller you, mm. and broad beans are bigger well and harder I, I, butter beans Check it. No, you can't yeah. tell me that. There, you know, bu- listen, listen, it's listen. butter beans. <laughs> listen to me. Butter beans and broad beans are two different type of beans. I am telling you, it's butter beans. Let's go, Winston. No, I ain't got to Google it because this is what no. I do for... Check How are you going to tell me? Check it. Be- Why is it showing me a wrestler? I put butter beans and it showed me a wrestler. Okay, butter beans food. It's called lima beans uh creamy butter beans it, no okay so let's do this let's google with oxtail why are we googling it and we go <laughs> no you were the one tripping out right now no let's see, see? what see? beans is used so, hold oxtail. on it says slow cooked oxtail with butter beans see? listen up with broad oh, jamaican look, oxtail no, with look. broad beans okay so you can oxtail so with this broad is where beans. we go people see now she we're showing you that She's she's she Listen. makes her oxtail one way. I make mine's one way. <laughs> let's but, let's stick that. You do it with wait, butter beans. You do it with brown beans. beans, and you do it with butter beans, okay. which is weird. Okay, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, but anyway, okay. today today guys, we want to talk about why is Jamaican food so popular? You know what I mean? Because I realize that when you go to a lot of the um, restaurants overseas, especially here mm-hmm. where I live in um, for a lot of the uh, Miami area. You realize that when you go there, you're seeing people from different cultures eating the food for lunch or for dinner or for breakfast. You know what I mean? And I asked myself this question based on that conversation I had today with somebody. I Mm -hmm. was thinking like, okay, 
why is this food so popular what is it about jamaican food, food that, that is, is so, so popular? popular you know mm-hmm. what i mean and when i think about it i think it's main one of the main reasons is because you know they cook they cook like with with all natural ingredients i think that's one of the main reasons mm-hmm. what you think is is the reason well i i kind of think the same thing um i think jamaican food is popular because of the herbs and spices the flavor profile of jamaican food you understand me what do you mean like the herbs and spices yeah. like the thyme and the mm-hmm. because i get what you're saying not like they don't really use that much powder seasoning yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so it's more like all natural ingredients right right so that gives the food a different taste right right so 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 pretty much when when you when 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 they cook in and that's not only jamaican food i think it's like caribbean Caribbean food food. uh you know people who are you know african food like Mm -hmm. people who are from like different cultures different cultures Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and like if you think about the way the french make food they build on layers uh, jamaican food is mainly stews it, jamaican food is similar to african cuisine mm, yeah. because african cuisine is mainly stews, stews. Right? like n- majority of what they eat is stews mm-hmm. you know what i mean and um and by I, stews you mean well well stews can be considered just you know a, a protein that is cooked down in a, in a liquid yeah you know what i mean so it could be like a chicken or pork or or beef you know what i mean and they cook it down in a in a liquid so that's that's the main concept around the food but what gives it the flavor is the ingredients mm-hmm. the s- they the use seasoning yeah so you know i don't want to compare it to other people but you know that's the best way to explain it mm-hmm. so people can understand that when you're cooking if you're using natural ingredients you're going to get a different flavor if you're a using different s- synthetic flavor profile if synthetic. You're using. Mm-hmm. right so let's say if you're making jerk chicken right Mm -hmm. if you're using powdered seasoning for the jerk chicken you get a different taste it's going to give you a different taste and it's going to give you a different uh texture you know what i mean but if if you're making jerk seeds jerk chicken and you're using uh Uh, natural natural ingredients it's going to give you a better flavor so i Mm -hmm. think one of the main reasons why people are attracted to our food is because of that because of the mere fact that we use a lot of natural ingredients Mm -hmm. and another point why i think um people like our food is that most of our dishes are filling right yeah right if you understand what i mean what you mean they filling like for instance a soup when you get a jamaican soup you know you have um different type of, of food um we'd say food right but it's like ground so provisions co- like right. yams sweet potatoes and all of that it's right. like a one part meal really right and and, and so, if you understand one of the concepts and one of the reasons why the food is like that is because in back well most of the, the cuisine stems from the maroons or the slaves you understand what i'm saying and they pretty much created dish based on the scraps that was left for them hmm right mm-hmm. right so they normally put it together so all the to, food that they're consuming are scraps so the masters will get the you know the better cuts and the mm-hmm. the better uh, portions of the, of the animal and mm-hmm. they would get like what's what they're gonna normally throw away you understand what i'm saying and another thing is they have to consume a lot of food that's uh packed with energy and this is why our culture the jamaican culture the caribbean culture mm-hmm. are i they eat a lot of carbohydrates yeah yeah you know what i mean so mm-hmm. that's why when they make a soup unlike americans or mm-hmm. or the french they would make a cream of let's say a they make a cream soup. of cream of pumpkin scoop it's just gonna be pumpkin soup pureed out that yeah. is With boiled cream. onion uh whatever spices Salt, you want to put pepper, in there and then you and puree it out right mm-hmm. well, but when you're in the caribbean and the people are making food they're gonna put more stuff in it because they want it to be filling Mm-hmm. you know what i mean so when they consume that soup for lunch it's gonna bring them all day until like dinner maybe maybe all day until they go to bed yeah it, and they, you know yeah, what I mean? for so instance if they even have the the soup for dinner they will just you know right right so ma- we're, we're mainly let's 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 talk about lunch because or breakfast because mm-hmm. they say breakfast is is one supposed to be one of your biggest meals 
You know what I mean? Mm. They said the be- breakfast should be the biggest meal. Mm-hmm. Your lunch should be a little bit lighter. And then the dinner should be like a really light thing. Mm. This is what, you know, modern people say. But before the Maroons, because I don't like to use the word slaves. So the Maroons, mm-hmm. they, um, they used to consume high starch food because starch provides the body with energy. Yeah. If you understand how it works is the carbohydrate, carbohydrates break down to sugar. And then sugar and then gives the sugar the body is energy. what gives the body energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is why they used to eat a lot of stuff like cassava, uh, banana. These are stuff we're growing locally. Mm-hmm. So they all just, you know, with whatever portions of meat or scraps of meat they have, they just put they something normally, together. Yeah. And most of them are from Africa. And like mm-hmm. we said, the cuisine in Africa is mainly stews. So if you think about a soup, it's, it's pretty much like a stew. And then I might add, you know, um, farming is a big thing. So, right. Well, it, well so most I of guess what they did why, was farming. Yeah. So I guess that's why that's a reason for eating. Right. Because they're eating from like farm to table. Mm-hmm. That's where the real farm to yeah. table was. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I, I really, I really enjoy the fact that, what do you mean? I really um, like the fact that how, how the food of the culture, the, the Jamaican food is so popular, mm-hmm. like almost every state that i've been to has a jamaican restaurant oh for real a very popular restaurant you know mm. what i mean and then you go to some states and they have like five six different ones you know what i mean mm. like down here in in, in in south florida there's tons of restaurants if you go to miami there's one called cliff which is super popular if you tons go of there, jamaican restaurants are caribbean caribbean yeah, restaurants yeah. Jamaica, well i'm talking about jamaican right oh. now because they're you know like south florida has it if you want to find a lot of Jamaicans in America. You go to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando. New York. Uh, New York, Atlanta is getting popular too. Oh, for real? Yeah. And all of New York, Connecticut, Boston, all of these places are very popular. I've been to, uh, well, I tell this every time, but in LA, I mm-hmm. found a Jamaican restaurant over there. You know what I mean? Pretty good. Um, the, right there, uh, how is it? I had curry chicken. Yeah, and- how was it? It wasn't good. I ain't gonna lie to you because I think they, most people when they cook in curry chicken, and I know a lot of people gonna be like, "You sound so American saying that." Like curry chicken, when a lot of people <laughs> cook in curry chicken, they boil it. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wait, and, and wait, wait. Boil it before preparing it. Or, no, 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 no. Okay. If or you while un- doing if, it. If you understand food um, terminologies, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people may not understand it, but for the people who do. You have different cooking methods. Mm-hmm. So like stewing, stewing. shallow fry, Deep saute, frying. you know what I mean? Baking, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, all those stuff. Whenever you're making curry chicken, the right way is you have to curry the chicken. You got to marinate the chicken with the, with the whatever spices with- and stuff and seasoning. Mm-hmm. And then you sear it off. So mm-hmm. you get a little bit of oil, which is the same thing as a saute. Mm-hmm. And I mean, well, some people do a little bit more oil, so it's like a shallow pot frying. But you're supposed to saute it off. So you get, you cook it to get that caramelization going on the mm-hmm. outside. It's the same technique that they do in the French cuisine where they, they, they sear their beef. meat first. Mm-hmm. And after they sear it, they then, either put it in the oven or, or they put it in a pot and baste it. Yeah. Basting means you... Uh, Add liquid. You, 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 you put a, yeah, a, a liquid onto it. So mm-hmm. most times they use butter. Mm-hmm. So you'll see a chef be having like a, a, a section of, let's say, a tenderloin. And they, they sear it off, get a nice caramel, like they crust it on the outside. Yeah. And then they put it in the pot. They put a piece of thyme, butter, some, garlic. Some garlic. And then they put butter and then just keep pouring it on top. That's, that's what you call basting. Oh. Okay. So like I'm saying, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, you was talking about about mm. the curry chicken yeah the curry chicken so yeah so some people when they're making curry chicken what they do is they just pour the chicken in the pot so they let and the throw pot water heat up. on it they let the pot get to a temperature mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then they pour all the meat in one time yeah and they stir it mm-hmm. stir it mm-hmm. stir it and if you realize and people if you if, if you think i'm lying you can try it you know what i mean if you put if you heat the pot up right and then you you put all the meat in at one what's gonna happen is the temperature of the pot is gonna cool right back down so instead of you searing the meat you're now steaming it so you're gonna realize that the color of the meat is gonna start look like opaque oh you know what i mean rather than looking like a caramelized yellowy color 
mm. if that's such an example yeah you know what i mean so like i'm saying you want to put it in small amount at a time sear it off get a little sear going on it take out that little bit put the rest sear it off and then when you're done you put the meat in and sorry you put the meat in and you pour a little bit of water on it you, if you're stewing something it shouldn't be covered if you're boiling you cover something you understand what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. some people, when they cook in, they put so much water, it's covering the meat. So now it's not stewing. It, oh, it's actually it's boiling. boiling. So the difference between boiling and stewing is the amount, the of, amount of liquid that you have in there. Mm. Yeah. So you want to just have enough m- liquid in there so it don't burn. But you don't want to have too much liquid where it's covering the thing that you're cooking. Because if mm. it covers it, that means you're boiling it. And the chicken I had over there, that's that. That's what it was. That it seems was like cold. they. Oh. Yeah, so like the flavor wasn't that intense mm. because like after you cook the chicken, you're supposed to let it reduce. You had your carrot and your Irish potato in it, and you're not even supposed to put no cornstarch and none of that in there. You, if you put the Irish potato and the carrots at the perfect time, they're gonna cook. The Irish potato will cook and melt and becomes a thickener. Wait, it, sorry, sorry to you know jump in but you just said something about corn starch people normally put corn starch well, in corn. not in not in what? not in typical jamaican, jamaican like classic cuisine. jamaican cooking oh, they don't yeah but like when you're in america if you're doing a if you have a big restaurant you're doing bulk cooking you're gonna put you're gonna thicken the, the curry with corn starch you're gonna thicken the gravy with corn starch think about it because mm. you don't it's harder to cook large portions of uh of food of food you know what i mean mm-hmm. so if you're cooking a big uh like a big pot of a curry chicken it's difficult to cook it and not thicken it with cornstarch mm. but if you know what you're doing what you could do is you boil the potatoes until they like you're making mashed potatoes and mm-hmm. when it's when the curry chicken is almost done you just ch- pour the mashed potatoes inside and whisk it also and, that's gonna so thicken thicken it. It. and then what that does is make the sauce have a flavor mm. because the, the irish potato is gonna give it a flavor and that's gonna give that that the jelly thickness sauce that when you have it in, in in back home, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh. But um, yeah, a lot of a lot of places that you go to, you find there is so many Different. Jamaican restaurants. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and you know some of them the food good, some the food not good because sometimes some of them are owned by Americans or they family is jamaican and or i must say or some some of these jamaican restaurants you know because of where they're based you know that they use different different seasoning if you understand so right, but, but you won't use the same seasoning like what you'd use back home right like if, if you go to jamaica and you go to like one of the street vendors you're gonna get that authentic cooking you know when they cook mm-hmm. that food on that cold stove now for my listeners who don't know a cold stove is it's like it is almost the same shape as a rim just think about a rim uh oh man that's probably a bad description or, or you could say like one of one of those grills like yeah like a really yeah. super small grill that they sell in walmart like a mm-hmm. really way really small one so it's like cylinder at the bottom and as it goes up to the top it starts to it starts mm-hmm. to come out in in like a what you call it now like a y shape yeah and you can say and it, the top it of doesn't it, have it, a it, cover the inside is 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 hollow so that's where you put your charcoal or what we call in jamaica coal mm-hmm. you know what i mean you put your coal in it you put like two pieces of metal across so you can sit your pot on top of that because once the coal start melting, the pot gonna tip over or back I, in jamaica that's, how, that, that's happened to me before where i'm cooking on the coal stove i'm putting the pot directly on the coal and, and as over. the coal br- burns down the pot tips over mm-hmm. yeah because the coal is burning down <laughs> yeah but the flavor on that when you cook on a coal stove is beautiful mm. oh it ain't nothing like that yeah and it's different like like yeah. i think you really get a different taste from like the coal stove versus the coal stove and the regular gas stove right right it's totally I different because there's different a smoky taste. there's a smoky flavor that comes from the coal stove and it depends on the type of wood that you're using like if you make a rice and peas on there it, it tastes really good it's like a smoky flavor what that it gives to the rice oh but um another reason why i think uh jamaican food and i'm not saying that other culture food is not popular i'm just talking about jamaican food today jamaican food is so popular is because it's soul food you know what i mean and people like 
people like soul food because soul food come with a story. Mm. You know what I mean? When you think about mm-hmm. soul food, soul food is not um, channeled to just one type of cuisine. Because, well, if you think about it, soul food could be a cuisine. But what so for me, what I think soul food is food that are cooked with passion, food that are cooked from the soul, from the soul. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like if you think about soul food in America, they call like um, this, um, the South, which is Louisiana mm-hmm. and these places. Why they call it the South? Because it's South of New York, but it's not South of Miami. or oh. Florida. But anyways, the I think they call it South. But anyways, um, the you soul ain't food. Sure? I, sometimes I question myself. Whoa. I have so much information in my head. Mm. I be questioning myself. But anyways, soul food. Let's go to soul food. If you think about food from Louisiana, right? Mm-hmm. You have so much things that they eat. They eat uh, fried chicken. And fried chicken is a soul food. You know what I mean? Barbecue ribs. Potatoes and gravy. You, know, you put it, potatoes and gravy. You talk about grits and, and um, shrimp and grits. Mm. Those are soul food. And you find that anywhere you go, you find there's a lot of people that are attracted to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's it's not like something that is created in a lab and you're eating it. It's something that you can, you can, um, you can, uh, what would you say? Like, uh, it's big. No, it's like something that you can, um, you, you can feel like you can be a part of it. Oh, like, like it's for, they make it like it's for the family or right 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 no but i'm just saying like when you think about soul food there's a word i'm trying to think of but it, it, it's something that you feel like if it, you feel a part of it oh. you feel a part of it mm-hmm. you know just think about when you eat some ribs and 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 you go to like a a, a spot that you call bros bro, brother's shack oh and you get some food there and you know they have some barbecue sauce that they tell you their grandmother mm-hmm. made yeah and you know she had this oh, recipe like for 40 part, something years like you're a part yeah, of history you feel like you're a yeah. part of their their history you mm-hmm. know what i mean and and that's what soul food does for you and i think jamaican food is 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 a type of soul food you know what i mean mm. because most of it most of these recipes are created uh and they have a history on them when you talk about well, majority like, of them right has, when you talk about, history behind when you talk it. about like the jerk chicken you know what i mean mm-hmm. the jerk chicken was created by the maroons in portland you know what i mean they, they they um they got the pimento and they found that the, the pimento because if you have you ever had pimento before you ever had the berry pimento berry mm-hmm. yeah i've had pimento berry before oh, no i mean the before it's dried no I can't okay. no. Well, there's a lot of people that never had pimento berry, but what pimento berry is? Mm-hmm. Pimento is a fruit. Yeah, I know pimento. They they, they are some small berries, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what they call what you most people eat or put in their food Pimentos. is the dried version. Oh, but before it's dried, it's a berry. It's really, really tart. Really, really what tart? tart. Yes, tart. Mm. And sometimes, depending on where you get them, they're bitter. You know what I mean? And um, they make liquor from it. You can um, actually p- process it and get the liquid when they're ripe and make it into a liqueur, which is super strong. Like sometimes I've had it before. When I was younger, I can never forget the story. My friend had a, a pimento allspice, guys, mm-hmm. if you don't know what pimento is. Allspice tree in his yard. And um, we pretty much used to going out in the yard. And one day his grandmother was um, telling the guy that was cutting the yard to cut it down like cut up uh, some of it down because cut it was down so the big pastry. yeah because it was oh. so big mm-hmm. so he's decided now he gonna cut it down he cut down a couple of brand like four or five branches and they were huge and it was like packed with with berries so me and my friend pick them up and they there was the lady was telling us yeah you know you can eat it so he's like mm-hmm. really but the thing about it like it, it it's so strong when you eat oh, it it, a, it has like, an intense flavor it, it's it's so strong it's like it's like eating pure alcohol. You know, you drink like oh, so white bur- rum. Does it burn you? It burns oh. your tongue. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we all brought like a whole branch to the front of the yard because the lady told us to br- bring the branches to the front. And um, she had like a little um, concrete section. Yeah. We was going to put them down to dry. Mm-hmm. So she, she when she told us we could eat it, we we now no, started to taste it. And some of them was sweet. Some of them was tart. Some of them was bitter. It's like, I guess oh, we was eating different. different. Type of- 
Nah, it's really one thing, but I think we was eating it like at different stages. So maybe some of them, the sweeter ones were like the ones that were really mature. Oh. And the tangier ones that were like the ones like, that are not fully mature. But when the they- bitter when they, ones were Right, the, because the they start out green and then green to like a, like a black purple color. And then from that, they uh, dry it after that oh, stage. Oh, so that's why- so after that stage, then they dry it, as you said, and, and then that's you, when you get, get the pimento, pimento berry, because that's really the seeds. Oh, so so after after all of that, then we call it the pimento seed. Or that's what they used to make oh. all spice or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's actually the dried berry. Oh, but if you cook, you can cook with a fresh berry, even the leaves, mm-hmm. because when you're making j- jerk chicken, that's what they do. They mm-hmm. use the they use the leaves to cover well, the chicken. Well, I must add, like the leaf has a strong a strong into flavor right. i must say because i think i've i've tasted the leaf or smelled the leaf before it's yeah really most good. people when they cook and they cook the leaves mm-hmm. and like if they're making rice and peas some people put the leaves in there because oh. it gives you a flavor when you're doing the jerk chicken they put the leaf mm-hmm. in there when they cook in curry goat they put the leaf in there mm-hmm. because the leaf is a stronger flavor like majority of the the fruits and and um herbs or whatever we have the leaves have flavor have a strong flavor you know yeah. what i mean you know mm-hmm. what i mean so you know, there's so much information in my head, and, guys. Like, I saw myself, an, I want to say. But, and another know. thing, like, what I must say is, like, the whole pimento or allspice tree, it's really strong. Like, every part of that tree, I feel like. Yeah, you can use the it, branches. It's really intense. Everything. You can the use, wood. like, the husk. Like, not the husk. The, you, uh, the bark. The bark. Mm-hmm. Thank, oh, every, my God. Oh, mm-hmm. Go, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So everything is really strong from yeah that it has a strong aroma and it has a strong flavor but like i said i think the one of the other main reasons why people love the, the the food so much is because of the soul and the flavor you know the soul um it's soul food you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it just brings so much memories mm-hmm. like when and you it hear brings the people stories together well food brings people together in general yeah. but yeah it, it is really really good you know they they we spend a lot of time developing these flavors and and i realized mm-hmm. from you know like when you go and have some 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 manish water mm-hmm. which is like a goat soup a goat soup right with ground provisions or food for jamaica what they call food in yeah night. Mm-hmm. yeah but um yeah <laughs> what like was that soup. what was that <laughs> yeah i'm jamaican sometimes i gotta i gotta you know i mean i gotta say what i gotta say and i gotta say how i gotta say it <laughs> you feel me but um yeah they put um a lot of ground provision in it they, you know they use a lot of uh just the same as like when you're in uh louis they use a lot of uh, sweet potato you know up north. Mm-hmm. we use a lot of cocoa and dasheen and yams what they call yams and here and chochi that's what they say or chocho ch- chai chayoto like chayoto yeah chayote wait, wait, wait. Chayote. Oh, yeah, chayote chayote yeah so um that's that's you know actually the funny thing about the, the cuisine, you know, majority of what the cuisine is made of, of is of different cultures. Mm-hmm. And that's why the motto is out of many one people. And it's like a big boiling pot. It's, as, it's, it's as, a little bit of Chinese cuisine. It's a little bit of Spanish cuisine. It's a little bit of African cuisine. It's a little bit of American. It's a little bit of uh, Indian. European, European, Indian. So it's like everything put together is what makes up this cuisine. Mm-hmm. Because if you think about... I can name a couple of dishes and I could probably give you an original where it came from. Like when you think about um, the Escovich fish mm-hmm. is actually something Spanish that comes from the the ceviche, which is the same thing. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just prepared, I think, kind of different. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. And, and then back in the days, they didn't have fridges and stuff. So they would find creative ways to, I don't know, you've ever heard about a crank crank? Cring cring. Right, it's like a smoking. Is it, this is how they used to pr- uh, preserve their meat back then? Oh, it's it's like you can make it by just. They used to have like a house. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they put it in it, and, and right? that's where you cook. So you have the the stove and stuff in there, mm-hmm. and then they'll hang the meat on mm-hmm. like strings, and, and then, then the dry. smoke from the cooking mm-hmm. preserves the meat. Yeah, I've heard of. If you watch now, guys, I know a lot of people must be like crank crank. That sounds so stupid. That sounds so crazy. But if you think we're lying, if you go to Discovery Channel and watch this thing called the final, uh, final Alaskan, I think it's called. You'll see them doing this. They get the salmon 
they uh put the salmon in a house mm-hmm. that is sometimes shaped like a pyramid and then they'll light a fire in there and smoke the salmon and that that cures the salmon that mm-hmm. makes it last for, for a, a long while. time mm-hmm. and they used to do the same thing back in the days and i think that's one of the ways that the, that thing i based on what i've learned that's one of the um that's how the jerk came around the jerk chicken that's how the because jerk they chicken. had the pimento they had the I, I think it was chicken and pork because oh, they was living they in, the slaves was living in in the hills mm-hmm, in the mountains the, the nanny and the maroons they was living in the mountains and and they had had some meat not sure what kind of meat mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe some pig tail mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm no. joking i am joking <laughs> sheesh yeah, I just anyways got that. my god you're so slow okay. but anyways they had some uh uh some some proteins right let's say Mm -hmm. proteins because we don't know what it is and the pimento was there the protein was there and this is how they well based on what i've read they Mm -hmm. put both of those together so they made it into a marinade and they didn't grill it on a grill because they didn't have a grill so what they did was they dig the hole in the ground and this is this is if again this is very very popular in a lot of cultures where they cook their meat underground underground so they dig the hole in the ground they put the charcoal in there that mm-hmm. was burning the wood mm-hmm. that they burned yeah they put the meat on top of the they stack the wood across the the, the heat now mm-hmm. and then they put the meat on top of that they cover, cover it, it with the pimento mm-hmm. tree um barks and then they cover that with dirt mm-hmm. and that's how it came about but you know over years it got modernized and you know the grill was created well if you go to if you go to portland in jamaica and go to boston you realize they don't it's have really a grill good. yeah it's you like wood there. and and zinc right right uh, we'd say zinc yeah it's the same thing here oh <laughs> it's so zinc so it's just like the wood zinc and yeah so they do the same they just build like a, a little pit a, uh, they put a they made up they make a pit and then they put uh wood across it i think it's pimento wood they put across mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then they put the meat on top of that so the fire's under the bottom the wood they got the wood that shaped that they make like what would you say like vertical you if you if you could google it you could probably get yeah, a better would, understanding would, of what I i'm i think it would be vertical. but it's it, it like if you go to portland where it's originally from i gotta keep saying that <laughs> i don't want to say you've yeah. been highlighting portland yes though. yes because that's where i'm from you can but anyways, see jerk jerk everywhere in no 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 yeah, yeah you can but see it everywhere authentic. but it was it was that's where the maroons lived okay. nanny and the maroons nanny is one of our national heroes Okay. she was from portland <laughs> no. i'm serious okay, okay. highlight portland thank stand. you very much one You're plug welcome. one plug for portland mm-hmm. one time for portland lighter 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 <laughs> but anyways yeah, yeah so what i was saying oh yeah the jerk pan the jerk thing you know as i said with evolution it went from underground to above ground to in a aluminum or metal pan now you know what i mean mm-hmm. and you know the flavor is different with every step that you you uh evolutionize it mm-hmm. and the next thing winston being that you know we've stated like what we think are you know or or take on why jamaican food is so popular what are some like some of the types of food that you like from jamaica oh man or your favorite dishes oh man oh man that's so jerk pork gotta be on that list mm-hmm. you like jerk pork yeah jerk pork jerk pork if you have jerk pork you have to have jerk pork and the jerk sausage and then they make this special sausage i don't think you could get it anywhere i've never had else? it anywhere else but in jamaica oh. so if you go to jamaica you get the jerk pork and you get the jerk sausage mm-hmm. which is homemade jerk sausage and guess what guys a little tip you guys don't have to bite you know you can just you know what? Let the jerk man give you a taste. Oh, man. <laughs> so what she's saying is whenever you go to like... The place is set up like a market. So if you're from from America, it's almost set up like if you go to a... uh, What do you call that now? Like a little market. Not market. I can't remember the name of the thing. A I food guess. court? I don't no, know. And you can court. get a sample? Well, I wouldn't call it a yeah, food te- court, but... You can get samples. That's what okay. I'm saying. So it's set up where once you go in there, 
you have like a bunch of different guys doing it and everybody gonna call you hey come over here come over here i got the best jerk pork today blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. you know what i mean and then once you go to the guy whoever you feel like going to they could they're gonna say oh you want to try it it's the same thing as when you go to the malls over here they make you yeah, the chinese people the let food. you try the food you know what i mean mm-hmm. so you could try the pork you can walk around and try it from they only gonna give you a small portion but you can try, yeah, even still the, can try whatever they have on the menu you can try it and whatever one you like you uh that's the one you get it from but one of the things that you got to do is whenever they cut a piece of the pork give to you wherever they cut it from when they gonna sell it to you let them cut it from the same place <laughs> Cause sometimes these mom, because what they do is they'll give you from the part of the pork that That's is fresh and moist. Good. And mm-hmm. then when you buy it, they cut a piece of that fresh part that is really super nice. And then they cut a piece of the other parts that, that's, that's not, not selling. So nice. That's not selling. And then mm-hmm. they put all of it in the bag. So then you leave yeah, and then you get it like, oh, yeah, well, this like, piece wait, is not good. This piece tastes different. different. Right. Yeah. So you got to watch it, man. Mm-hmm. I'm giving so, you the, the tea on that one. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Give so, you the tea. So you just said that you like, you love jerk pork. Jerk pork is definitely mm-hmm. on the list of For me, of I must say I like jerk as well. So I love jerk chicken. Why are you always following me? No, I'm not following you, but I'm saying, well, quote unquote, I'm not from Portland. So, okay, you know, I don't know go. the authentic Portland jerk. Okay, so why don't you say something? Where are you from? Kingston? I'm from Kingston. So why don't Kingstonian. you tell us about something from so Kingston? So, I like Kingston jerk, which is a jerk pan. It's really good. It, okay, it don't really matter. <laughs> I don't know why you said that. But anyways, uh, I think my um other client, I mean... My other dish that I would really, really love is stew mm-hmm. peas. No, stew peas. Stew peas is like, uh, well, it's what it is. It's red kidney beans made into a stew. So it's similar to what the Spanish people would eat with black beans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. they eat black beans and rice. It's the same thing. We have stew peas, but what we put is we put a protein because we feel like we got to put protein in everything. Everything. So we got, uh, I don't know why <laughs> we do it. <laughs> That's really funny because we really do eat protein with every everything. Right. We have put a pig's tail or salt beef mm-hmm. or chicken feet. Yeah. Chicken paws. Uh, what? Chicken paws. Paws. Ain't nobody saying no goddamn yes, chicken paws. they say chicken paws. Chicken so. feet. Chicken paws. All paws? Right. Like, right, that means right, stop? Okay, okay. <laughs> you said no, chicken no, paws. Paws. P A W S. You sound like you didn't know how to spell it there. You just went <laughs> low at the end part of it. <laughs> anyways, oh my god! We guys. gotta take you back to school. Chicken, Chill. how you spell it? P A W S. That's not funny. But anyways, there's not no chicken paws. It's called chicken listen. feet. You know, I All saw right. okay, I said Car- I saw Cardi B eating that on on the internet one day. Mm-hmm. She was I eating saw it her on, too. Her, her, on her. Was, if you go on her page, mm-hmm. you see Cardi I B gotta have this. eating chicken yeah. feet. And yeah. <laughs> she didn't you care, but feet? she Caribbean though. Yeah, she, I think she's from Dominica or something yeah. or Puerto Rico. You eat chicken feet? It. I've had it, but it's been a while since I've ate it. Yeah. Well, that that's my second thing. Um, oh, stupid. stupid. For me, no, I like me some Akian sawfish. Yeah, I can sawfish is yes. good. I can sawfish and breadfruit. I like, but I don't like when you roast the breadfruit. I like the um, I like the uh boiled boiled breadfruit, not boiled fried breadfruit. breadfruit. I like when they roast it and then they fry it. I'm mm. a bit yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not a big breadfruit fan. I must say, sadly. Oh. oh man, one of the craziest thing I've heard. Man, Jamaican people are so funny. They used to tell me when I was younger that you if you eat too much breadfruit, you're gonna be a coward. coward. <laughs> I'm, I, now i'm thinking and i used to not want to eat the bird fruit because oh, of that thing. like summertime is when the bird fruit comes around a lot mm-hmm. and throughout the summer we don't have no school so we mm-hmm. stay home we go fishing you know we Get every day we fruit. cooking every day and bird fruit is a, like everybody in the yard got a bird fruit tree in it so back then we used to eat a lot of bird fruit so whenever anything happens like a fight or anything somebody be like oh man he eats too much bird fruit see how covered he is i'm like come on dude what the hell and i used to believe it mm. i used to believe that thing so much and now i'm grown and i'm thinking about how can a bread fr- and they say if you eat the art of the bread fruit the inner part of the bread fruit mm-hmm. which is really like the seeds but yeah. they call it bird fruit art. heart mm-hmm. heart back in jamaica they say if you eat that part you're gonna be a coward ain't no goddamn thing 
I don't know where that they get these That is a crazy things. myth. They make up so many myths. Myth. It's the same thing they do with um mm-hmm. if you eat steamed fish and okra or okra. They tell you, "Oh, you you going to get somebody pregnant." <laughs> You go. I'm like, what the? That's f- a crazy one. That's Who the hell myth. does that? Like, come on! I've ate steamed fish and okra all my life, and I never got a child till I was 29. So, bitch, <laughs> 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 that that look good. I'm saying, man, I ain't no gelding either. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, we going out of pocket with wait, that one. Wait, wait, but anyways, wait, wait. I'm just saying. Think about it. They used to tell us. They, that's the second thing that they mm-hmm. that told me. That didn't make no sense. Oh yeah, if you eat a uh, um steam fish and okra, you definitely gonna get somebody pregnant. Or if you drink a, if you drink Guinness stout, yeah, they said the Guinness stout has potency in it that's mm-hmm. gonna make you get somebody pregnant. And they pregnant. call Guinness. Is it the same thing? Guinness the strong bath. Yeah, the Guinness stout, which is like you, whatever with Guinness in it. Anything if you make if you mix peanuts, Guinness, on oats and supergen, which is supergen is like a a, a milkshake. Mm-hmm. drink that they make in a can uh, they tell you oh this is gonna give you stamina <laughs> and you're gonna break the bed down <laughs> uh, all lies. oh my god this is all a lie people don't believe the stupidness that they tell you and another um dish that i like is curried goat is that you, you sound so clu- cliche oh, saying curry? curry goat yeah man come on man Why? tell me about something that people people who are listening to us oh, won't know every- you know what i mean tell right. us tell us about some roast yam have you ever had roast yam and roast saltfish that's oh, cooked on the fire yeah one once you know what I've i mean that. tell From us about some Elizabeth. sweet potato pudding tell us about some uh some some saltfish rundung or tell us about some mm. red herring you know red, what i mean what? red herring oh. you know all of these things you know are from the spanish you know mm-hmm. saltfish red, well not saltfish but red herrings herrings mm-hmm. herring herring right they have um the, the spanish people eat a lot of that even even that fish um that's um, in the can what do you call that one in the can sardines mm. when you go to like spain and these places they don't eat the one in the can but they have fresh sardines you know what i mean and they have fresh salt, mackerel salt mackerel salt mackerel run right down. but i'm saying like the fresh mackerel these are stuff that comes from spain and spain had um took over the caribbean before mm-hmm. the british did oh, and brought in some right of so the they things. brought some of their cuisine so that's where we're you know we got that from eating the the sardines and the mackerel and and, uh, and all of those stuff you know mm-hmm. what i mean mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons why we eat those stuff so you know you got to tell people about that tell the people about some stuff that they probably don't even know exists. blue draws yeah blue draws you know if you go to <laughs> like most uh, uh restaurants uh here where mm-hmm. i'm living yeah in the mornings they may have like ackee and sawfish sawfish and kalaloo uh they sell cabbage and sawfish or? well cabbage is like the vegetable oh <laughs> which is which is it, crazy which is a jamaican thing though yeah, but because in every or most of the jamaican restaurant restaurants i've been to like most like when you go and you're getting vegetable it's really cabbage and carrots right. shredded and That's the only it. reason why they give us cabbage like if you go to jamaica you have in i think it's veg- because it's cheaper it is cheaper to buy yeah. cabbage just make a and the cabbage and the carrot it's the same thing with the southern food they make coleslaw mm-hmm. you know they put some mayonnaise and it's, it's a different dish mm-hmm. but like now now i'm a vegetarian which i hate using that word but anyway vegan I don't want to eat whatever. I'm one of those people that don't eat meat. No animal products. <laughs> I don't like I don't like those names. Anyways. Yeah. Let's not get into that. Right. So now I'm doing this and if I go to like a Jamaican restaurant and I say, "Okay, do you have anything uh vegetarian?" They looking at you like, "Oh, you could have some kalaloo and um saltfish." Oh, yeah, there's saltfish in it. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Good. serious. Good. I Good. I went to this drive through the other day and mm-hmm. that's what the lady said to me. I'm like, ma'am, I don't eat fish. Oh, um, we don't have anything. I said, you have anything? Yes, we got vegetables. What vegetables? Oh, cabbage. cabbage. I'm like, ca- yeah, come on, man. Is that cabbage. the only, you not, there's very few restaurants that you go to and you get lettuce hmm. or why though? get like string beans and expensive? carrots. I don't know why. Like it, it, the funny thing is, I like, even like chocho and them stuff. That's good. The stuff only to eat, restaurants you know? that you can go to in Jamaica and get string beans and carrots for veg is like 
let's say a fine dining restaurant or a I wouldn't call let's let's not say oh, fine dining dine. cuz we can say a remember casual, we talked about casual uh, right yeah. a fast casual fast casual restaurant right don't so you that's it. we we taught we we was teaching yeah. the people last uh I was at two podcasts ago about the different type of restaurant and you going to come here talking about some fine dine yeah ain't anyways, no fine guys, ain't no fine dine Jamaican rip, restaurant true i must and say i'm not trying to be disrespectful casual, i'm not tr- guys let me say it. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but there's no fine dine Jamaican restaurant. Not yet. I haven't seen one. Mm. You know what I mean? But the, the people in Jamaica normally call these restaurants fine dine restaurants. Because they, they don't they have the are, knowledge. Um, fast casual restaurants. Right, right, right. right. So, yeah. So, like, somebody needs to open their eyes and let them understand mm-hmm. that there is different type of restaurants. But we're not going to get into that because we did that in mm-hmm. a previous podcast. You can so go back and check out. So, we are opening their eyes, too. <laughs> right, right. So, if you want to get more information on what we just talked about, the different type of restaurants, you can check out the podcast uh, before. before this one. It's, I think it's called um, The Best Restaurant. I forgot what the name of it is. Yeah. But anyways, you can check out the um, our podcast and see... And listen to that episode on the type of restaurants. Mm-hmm. So, but um, back to what we was talking about. Like we said, man, Jamaican food is very popular. Not saying that other culture food is not popular. But, but we're talking about Jamaican, Jamaican food today. Food. Based on the fact that whenever you go anywhere, you always, always. And, and like I have some. Um, <laughs> some more. I got some white friends mm-hmm. that they eat more Jamaican food than Jamaicans. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm. I'm telling you, man. Like for lunch, they 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 eat so much. The people that work at the restaurant know them. Oh, right. So they be consuming, yeah. and, and this is what made me realize how popular the food is mm. because these people they be having Jamaican patties. Sometimes they go there, they want to get, and this is how I know they're eating there a long time. Mm-hmm. When they go there, they order the fried chicken, but they get the curry goat gravy. Oh, without ordering. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know that fried chicken and curry goat gravy is a big thing back, exactly. back in Jamaica. I don't know if anybody else out there have ever had that. Who likes to go to the restaurant and ha- order fried chicken and curry goat with gravy. the curry goat gravy? The re- I think one of the main comment, reasons. Comment, comment, comment. One of the main reasons why they do that is the curry goat is normally more expensive mm-hmm. but if you get the gravy chances are you're gonna get some of the cur- curry goat yeah in a it. little pizza there. right but also the curry goat vla- um, gravy is flavorful mm-hmm. but you know what they do here in america in fort lauderdale in what? miami when you go to the restaurants and you order fried chicken with curry goat gravy they charge you 50 cents for curry goat for gravy, gravy that's yeah. crazy <laughs> because they know the people doing they know what the people doing oh, you gotta be on game you see, back back in jamaica i used to do that go and buy fried chicken and curry goat gravy but then the restaurant that i used to go to i realized that i started getting curry chicken gravy you know that, that oh you taste. get a different you see yeah, yeah, yeah. The curry goat gravy is really good. Why you didn't tell me, say, you don't have any curry goat gravy? I don't want curry chicken gravy. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. But the curry goat gravy is pretty good. But Pretty good with fried But chicken. like I said, my, my white friends, or uh, my Caucasian friends, they are so, so in love with the food. And if you go on YouTube now and you realize there's a lot of people going to Jamaica and to cooking, explore it. And cooking Jamaican and, they, and not only that, they're just trying to explore the Jamaican food culture because mm-hmm. it's so vast. It's so it's so flavorful. It's so it's so mind blowing. It's so it's so decadent. You know what I mean? When you can when you have a, when you have any Jamaican dish, chances are you're gonna want to try more. And, I want and this to is go a, this, back. this is something I have to tell all my listeners. What? Not all Jamaican food is spicy. Mm-hmm. Because that's a myth that everybody have that once the food is, is from Jamaica, it's going to be spicy. No. Oh. We don't because if you go to Jamaica like here in America they do the Jamaican patties, they have mild mild uh, and spicy. Spi- oh. But most people don't eat spicy food in Jamaica. That's another misconception. A lot of people think that everything in Jamaica is spicy. No, it's not. It's not. The only thing that you get spicy is one the jerk chicken, and the jerk chicken is not that spicy. Well, for me, well, the it's jerk not that chicken spicy. Is, is jerk chicken is not spicy. that spicy. Oh, but then you can add like sauce right. or whatever. Because what they do is when they make it, because they make it for everybody's palate, they make mm-hmm. the chicken flavorful or the pork flavorful. 
And then when you get there, they have you a bottle, uh, like a homemade spice. Yeah, they have a homemade um pepper, pepper spice. Pepper mm. spice. What? Oh, well, pepper. And you keep guys, saying it like guys. You over there saying it Let's like, and I'm go. trying to ignore you. Oh. <laughs> and you over there repeating pepper spice. What? What is that? <laughs> Anyways, they have a. Uh, uh <laughs> you threw me out there. But anyways, they have a they have like homemade spam pepper, like a salsa that they make to go with the uh jerk pork or jerk, jerk pork. chicken. So if you want it spicy, then you put that on there. But the thing is not spicy. So w- please guys, please if you never had any Jamaican food before, you have to try it. Google it, uh uh, uh Yelp it. Go on YouTube. Uh, it. YouTube uh, Instagram to put in hashtag Jamaican food on Instagram and see what comes up mm-hmm. and check it out man it's, it is beautiful it is beautiful it is beautiful I can't stop saying that and I and it's flavorful it's flavorful it's flavorful right it's really right. good guys and you have to go to Jamaica have to go to Jamaica to get an experience of it Get uh, don't go to the all inclusive you know what I mean rent mm-hmm. your Airbnb even if you go into an all inclusive Yo, try, try and to go spend on the like road. half the time mm-hmm. or if you yeah or go on the road mm-hmm. it's, it's stupid for you to go into an all-inclusive and then go on the road because mm-hmm. you're wasting you know what i mean money mm-hmm. so what you could do is go there if you're there for a week you can spend, spend four there in all-inclusive and then you spend three days where you just stay mm-hmm. and go to random because places. in truth and in fact i don't think you'll get you know that jamaican you're not authentic, gonna get the authentic jamaican food. experience no. No. from and all inclusive you get the jamaican food you're gonna get the jerk chicken the oxtail the curry goat ray 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 and the blade but it won't be authentic but you wanna you wanna go to like a street vendor Mm -hmm. and have the food you know what i mean if you're in Ocherius, there's street vendors everywhere. If you're in Montego Bay, street there everywhere you go, if there's a street Kingston. vendor. You know what I mean? Kingston is more like Miami. <laughs> you know what <laughs> well, I mean? You're you gonna still find, find still, one and two. You still find it though, but it, you know, like you know, the better the you rural part. Right. If you vendors. stay out of the city, you'll stand a better chance of getting the experience of the mm-hmm. culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? The city is, uh, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's more you know gentrified. If you want to call it, it's gentrified with 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 whatever, you know what I mean. But you know, on on a closing note, please try some Jamaican food. It's not spicy. Not all Jamaican food is spicy, and jerk chicken and oxtail is not the only Jamaican food. And the seasoning used for Jamaican food is really nice. Right, less powdered. See, well, now I realize they're using a lot of. Some more, people more. are using powder seasoning, mm-hmm. but back then, you know, like mm-hmm. authentic. I people, guess it's because of modernization and. I th- no, I think it's more of cost effectiveness. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, y- you know, if you're buying organic, as they call it here, mm-hmm. you know, it's more expensive. It's more expensive because mm-hmm. if you get a local farmer to buy, uh, buy onion and, and garlic mm-hmm. and scallion and thyme, which is the main, main, main ingredients, mm-hmm. like that's at like the base of the seasoning mm-hmm. that we use. And, I think and then we balance it off with salt mm-hmm. and you know some people put sugar and i think for i don't know maybe you guys don't um agree but for when you use powdered seasoning i think it's like time it's not so time consuming because right. for um natural natural spices you'd have to cut them up and all natural of this season right yeah right so it's easier it's easier she's saying that it's easier to uh to use the powdered seasoning versus because you know you just pull a bottle and pour it in versus if you're using fresh stuff you gotta cut it up you know what i mean but sometimes in jamaica they blend all those stuff and just keep it in a bottle and just keep adding it to whatever mm-hmm. you know what i mean but anyways uh thank you for listening to the podcast today um thanks please, for tuning in guys right please remember to go to my instagram pastry beer tv uh watch the videos i'm going to have a lot more content coming soon uh we're gonna have merch on sale you know so if you're a chef you can hit me up i'm selling pastry beer tweezers uh i'm doing uh pastry beer molds uh we ship worldwide wherever you are we'll ship it to you so check it out get some of the merch you know we have ads coming soon and t-shirts as usual that everybody does uh <laughs> i hate that stuff okay. but anyways um yeah we got stuff working on so check out my instagram at chef c-h-e-f w as in winston w murdoch m-u-r-d-o-c-k 
Again, C H E F W M U R D O C K. Uh, and on Instagram, also check me out at Pastry Bear TV <laughs> at P A S E R Y B E A R. What? My mouth, you laughing at the way I'm doing Anyways, it? Anyways, and you guys can check me out at Telicia, T E L E C I A underscore Panadero. My link will be in the, is it the bio or my link will be on the, the video or whatever. No, well, on Instagram, it. we'll put it there, but on, oh. um, on the pod, I'll, I'll take care. Just yeah. So y'all will us. see my link so you can follow me and please like, subscribe and share. Oh, Have a are, good one. You are something else, man. <laughs> you are something else. I'm going to fire you. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>